Hello Dragons, my name's Phil Danishar and I'm here today to ask for £65,000 in exchange for 10% equity stake in my company Thirsty. Did you know that over 80% of people in the UK do not drink the recommended amount of water that they should each day, meaning most of us spend our days chronically dehydrated? Luckily, Thirsty have a solution. We've developed the Thirsty Puck, a device that goes into your water bottle, tracks what you've drunk throughout the day, and then reminds you to drink whenever you forget. As you drink, the home screen should change and show you how much you've had. If at any point during the day you forget to drink, the puck will gently glow in the water bottle to remind you to have a sip or send a fun notification to your phone saying, hey, thirsty, have a drink. Thank you, and I'd like to give you a product and take any questions you might have. Hoping to make a splash in the den is Brahmi Phil Danishar, who's seeking £65,000 in return for 10% of his hydration tracking device business. Healthcare tycoon Tej Lalvani is first to test the water. I like the idea. I mean, I drink very little water and it's not good. I need to drink more. But Tell me a bit about yourself and your background. How did you come up with this idea? So the idea really came about in my first year at uni. I was on a diet and I was trying to drink around five to six litres of water a day. Um, I could never keep track of what I was drinking. And that led to the idea, the eureka moment of, why not make a device that can go into any bottle, that can track what you drink, at, whether you're in the gym, or whether you're at work, or whether you're at home. And now we look to come to market in around um, a couple of weeks' time. Presumably, this is aimed at water. This doesn't take into account what I drink most of my life, which is tea, coffee. The idea at the moment is that people use it in cold drinks. It works with squash and milk. We've just changed the plastic in manufacturing so that we can hopefully have it working with hot drinks. We've got a plastic which is now rated to a higher temperature. I know what I've drunk a day. I think the very simple question that I usually say to people is, do you know when the last time you had a drink of water was? It's only then you realise that you haven't drank for two hours. It's reminding people to drink before they forget. Heaven forbid, we have to have a little alarm to make me drink the thing that keeps me alive. Deborah Meaden questions the very need for the digital drinking device. Tej Lalvani now wants to dip his toe into the company's figures. So what does it cost to manufacture? It costs £9.13. pence. And how much do you intend to sell it for? So we sell to a distributor at £12. That's a very small margin. So it's a small margin on our sales to distributor. Um, the other route to market is us selling directly for our website. And the retail price is 34 95 34 95 Wow. 34 95 It's incredibly expensive. To give some comparison there in terms of price, first of all, there are some American competitors they are selling between $70 to $120. They're selling the same product? So what they have is a single bottle that measures and does the same thing. So you don't have to put something in it? You don't have to put a puck into it. Oh, so, that, it's a, so it's a lot better then? It's not better because it restricts you to using one bottle all the time. If you've got a bright pink bottle using the gym. Yeah, but I'd just buy two of them, wouldn't I? So I get up in the morning, I have my glass of orange juice. Yeah. I put the puck in there. Yeah. I'm going to drink my orange juice. Yeah. Then I need to run for my train. So, and I haven't quite finished my orange juice, so I'm going to pick this out of here. Oops. And we're going to, oops, and we're going to, oh dear. And then I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to put it in my handbag. We'll take it to work. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get a water bottle, which would need to have a opening big enough to put yeah, it so in as well. So I think, you know what, I'm, where I'm going with this, yeah. I can't imagine carrying this thing around all day and putting it in and out of drinks and in and out of handbags and pockets. You know, I'm already thinking, you know, I think there's a hygiene problem there. And so it's definitely not an investment for me. Um, I'm not keen on the product, so I'm out. OK, thank you. Straight-talking northerner Jenny Campbell pours cold water over the idea and makes an early exit from the discussion. Has dad of two, Tuka Suleiman, seen something to whet his appetite? Phil, I like it. Thank you. I have an 18-year-old daughter who drinks no water. And if you see my messages to her every day, 
Have you drank water? Have you drank water? Have you drank water? So this would be ideal for her. But could you target a market such as the children's market? Mm -hmm. It just happens that I'm in that world at the moment. Yeah. So are you in the position to put one of these that could then measure how much milk a baby drinks, which to me would be interesting? Yeah, so we can, the technology doesn't change if we use it for babies. So for a baby bottle, it will continuously track and remind parents when their children need to drink, but also how much that child has drank. I've got to say, I think that's just ridiculous. I mean, it's beyond ridiculous. There's no parent that is going to fill up a, a milk bottle for a baby and then wait for their app to tell you that the baby's actually only drunk two and a half ounces when it's on the side of the damn bottle anyway. I think the, the point with the baby bottle idea is that when you're scrounging around at 2 a.m. for your to feed your child from the bottle... What, are you going to wait for a text to come through on your phone? No, you're not going to wait for a text to come through to say how much, you, how much the child's drank, but you are not necessarily going to be in a position to record, record accurately how much your child drank at 2 a.m. I feel, listen, that's nonsense. I can tell you every parent in the land knows exactly what their children are doing. Trust me, they really, really care about it. I think it's very much overkill at the moment. I actually think you'll sell a few, because there are always people out there, especially early adopters, that like to try things out. But it's not an investment at this stage for me, so I'm going to say I'm out. Okay, thank you. Peter Jones becomes the second dragon to give the gadget the thumbs down. Does Tej Lalvani see an investment opportunity in the first monitoring gizmo? The concept is great, um, drinking more water, but having that thing inside the water, right in the middle here, um, and looking at it, it just feels odd. So. I'm going to uh, wish you all the success, but sadly, I'm out. Right, thank you. Phil, I think it's very, very impractical. And actually, I, I go further than that. I find it mildly worrying. This is what keeps us alive. This isn't something that we should be relying on something to tell us to do. I suspect what's going to happen is you're going to be successful in your life. I wouldn't be at all surprised to find you come back here with something else that you got and you would gain investment. But I'm afraid for me, this isn't it. So I won't be investing. I'm out. I think mean, you've got something, and I disagree with Peter, what Peter said about parents know. I think parents would love to know if, if a parent is actually a working parent and her baby is being looked after by the grandparents or by a kindergarten, she wants to know that her children's been fed properly. So I think you've definitely got something. I, I'm tempted. But I'd want a lot more than 10%. Something just puzzles me. You say you're paying nine pounds for that. I think that if you went to China to have this done, it wouldn't cost more than three or four dollars. And I'm not sure how committed you are to, to this supplier. Quite committed. Quite committed. Yeah. I think your supplier is definitely making money out of you. So therefore, that, that worries me. So today, you're not going to get no investment for me, and I'm out. OK. Thank you. Thank you, Dragons, for your time. So it's back to the books for the student entrepreneur who leaves the den without the £65,000 he was seeking. I don't think they got the concept as much as I would like them to. Uh, I think the Dragons may be a generation above where the concept's aimed at. 21 years old, oh, he man. is going to be very he is successful. He's very good. I think they've made a mistake and I'll definitely be back to prove them wrong. <laughs> <laughs>